Okay, and we're back. Revenge of the Sea Team, uh, episode 14, part 2, also known as episode 15. Uh, we are right where I left off. And this one will go up right behind the last one because I'm doing them back to back. And uh, it's kind of a cliffhanger on the last one because the map stopped loading. <laughs> so uh, let's just pick right up like nothing ever happened, huh? Uh, we are looting all of our battle towers that have loot in them still. For those of you that might have missed the last episode. And I'm putting all the loot at the house in the same couple of chests to keep track of what we got total today. And this is our next one. Uh, perfect. It loads instantly now. I don't know. I didn't really do anything but uh, sit at the house there and wait for a minute. Um, part 14 is uploading right now. So at some point during this episode, I will probably pause for a second, click the publish button on YouTube, and then it'll be up for you guys to watch. So it's like uh, I'm streaming, but no one's watching it. <laughs> Anyway, um, also, if you missed last episode, or have just now started paying attention, uh, I'm skipping over a lot of the loot in these that I really don't want, or some mob drops that I'm just getting because I have magnet mode turned on. Uh, I'm skipping over some of them, and I will come back to get them later, because I'm a pack rat and I hoard everything. So, I'll find a use for it. I just don't want it in my inventory at the moment. Like all the uh, string and spider eyes here, I can use in the steam dynamo at the house to power all of our machinery that we're going to have. Um, don't need any of that. Okay. That was two different types of mushrooms, or vanilla mushrooms, some wheat, and a oak sapling. Just in case the video lags out and you don't spot it, because I'm kind of trying to hurry a little bit. Okay, peach saplings, artichoke seeds, melon seeds, pumpkin seeds, and a fishing rod. Uh, that's pretty standard for the loot chests in these, which is... A little sad. Like, the only really great chest is going to be the bottom one, from what I can tell from looting the rest of these. Some of this other stuff I'll take just because it's more useful in the short term. Oh, I got a turtle hat. It says Jeremy? Not quite sure what that's from. Oh, come on. What am I stuck on? Stuck on something. Couldn't go up over the chest. Alright. Chain mail. 2,000 coins. Some magma cream. A fig sapling. Papaya sapling. The bucket I'll take. Cantaloupe seeds. And a one-time use safari net. That I will leave here. For now. There's a fireball 1725 hat. our way through this room. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, we're good. Bloodstone's saving us. And the Spectre Armor health region, probably not hurting either. Torch there, torch in this corner, okay. Another brewing stand, lily pads, safari net, corallium gems, mundane power catalyst, Drop off the mob loot that I don't need. Uh, yeah, that looks good. Coming through. No spiders down here. Well, no complaints out of me. Kill this guy. Alright, let's check our bloodstone. Full. 400 charges. Awesome. Squid pet. Water breathing, underwater vision, swim boost, sneak to sink, 
Favorite food, raw fish. Well, that's cool. That's another inventory pet we didn't have yet. Standard binding agent, some pig iron. That's cool. Chance cubes. Uh, I'm going to have to get rid of some stuff. There we go. Ender lily seeds, yes. Gold ingots, yes. Ender pearls, yes. Take the bucket because it stacks. And I've always got a use for buckets. And that's another tower down. Whoops. Wrong button. And we will head back to the house. Ow, rain. I'm regenerating through the rain, actually. Well, we know it works. Okay. Dump off any of this that will stack. Oh, I got a vampiric blade out of one of those uh, mobs walking around. That's cool. Not that I'm going to be using it, but it's cool to have. Oh, not you. And I'll throw it in there with the other loot that we've gotten. Alright, so that's one bloodstone full. I have two more right there that I'll do off camera. <laughs> I want to see if they actually stack. If I have three in my inventory, if it triples the uh, health region value. Okay, where's our next target? Oh, there's two way up here. There's an environmental accumulator chest uh, that I probably used as a dump chest before, because some of this stuff I don't think will actually appear in these. Uh, I'm going to take the saddle also, just so I don't have to craft any new ones. Switch this to blue, this signal that I've looked in it. Uh, next one, battle tower right next to this. We've got some coal, I'll take that. Uh, leave the rest of that. This is the wrong side. Let's go over this way. Alright, now everything should be trying to kill me. Because I'm in base player form. Don't need any of that. Put the torches in the right spot anyway. Come on. Alright, everybody die. Some of them would be dead twice. Uh, that's the exact same loot that was in the other one on the second floor. Ow. What the? Yeah, there we go. Hey, an Enderman. Wish I could kill those in one shot. Oh, hell. Okay, I just fell like three floors. Good old Bloodstone. Saving me from, uh... Ah, dang it, again. Okay, I'm just gonna light up the floors as I go back up. Or, since it's not raining indoors, I can just switch back to my blaze morph while I'm in here. Okay, what floor was I on? Here? Or the next one? The next one looks pretty bright. I've probably done the next one up. Dang spiders. Okay, my inventory is full of everything. Okay, uh, put away the stuff I don't need. And I'll put away the skeleton skull, since I'm getting a lot of stuff this time. Put away the not enchanted bow. Power one, eh. I'll hang on to it for now. That'll be the first thing to go, though. What? Were you stuck in the ceiling? 
Okay. And kind of backtracking, but not really. Leak, raw fish, ink, leather. Yeah, these are starting to look a little repetitive. Let's just kind of uh, hurry down to our bottom floor. That's where the good stuff is. Chain mail. That's slightly decent. We can make more steel out of it. Yeah, in some of the mod packs that have Tinker's Construct, steel is harder to get. Like, you have to go through a big long process to make steel. But in this mod pack, uh, you can make steel by just cooking an iron ingot in a furnace. So it's not that hard to get, but I'm still taking the chainmail anyway. Partially out of habit, partially just because I get free steel out of it, so why not? I mean, I'm taking the iron equipment, too, for the same reason. Because it's free iron. Okay. There was no boss in this one, either. Throw that out, throw that out, throw that out. Gold, diamonds, Icos Adrian. Um. Okay, I'll put the bow away. And I'll take the bucket. Well, actually, none of the rest of this stuff I need, so I'll take the bow back. And we'll cycle this one back to blue. There we go. Head back to the house and dump this stuff off. Anything that'll stack. And this goes there. Second loot chest. Um, keeping one of these buckets. Okay. Give me one second to look at the upload. Okay, it's still going. Next target. I'm going to not even scroll up there. Just click it off the side of the map. Another battle tower. Uh, sticks, but no coal. I've got ten torches. Let's take them anyway. I'll probably find coal. Uh, Gunpowder... I'll just leave it. I can always come back. Heading down. Yeah, yeah, spiders. Yeah, yeah. Give me that. No uh, ectoplasm out of that guy. More sticks. Put away that stuff. Some random uh, Pam's Harvest Craft foods. I guess one of those gardens outside got broken. That's the wrong spot. There we go. Two, three, and four. Uh-huh, got some more torches. Best kind of chest where it pays for itself. Ow. Okay. Let's not do all this again. Dang it. And I'm going to have some armor to repair when I get out of here. Oh, I forgot to mention, the Spectre armor can be repaired in the Evil Craft blood chest. I don't think I actually mentioned that last episode. Uh, but some armors cannot be repaired that way, so it's good to note that it can.
Uh, take the glass, leave the rest. There's just a couple of pieces of bread. Now you might be wondering, why not break all the spawners so you don't have to worry about it anymore? And my response would be because I use spawners to make mob grinders out of. And with as many spawners are on the map, I can have one heck of a spawn room. Especially during a blood moon when the spawn cap is raised. Alright, another eye of ender, fishing rod, melon seed, olive sapling. Nothing super good there. Keep kind of punch stuff with a torch. Okay. Is that a baby zombie with full gold armor on inside the spawner? <laughs> Uh, that'd be crazy if those started spawning out of there every time. Okay, put away... Random pine sapling. That guy's stuck in the floor. Got him, okay. Health is not even moving. Like five spiders and poisoned. Health doesn't move. That's great. Alright. Some more chain mail, some chance cubes, almond sapling, and bread. Uh, everything else is fine, I guess. Might as well top off the hunger. I mean, at this rate, I think I can probably starve to death and be fine. I mean, I can go all the way down to starving, and my health will stay full. I've got some ectoplasm somewhere in that mess. Well, if the bloodstone wasn't full, it is now, that's for sure. Okay, another steadfast drone, miniature red heart, two chance cubes, and let's see, safari net, single use, holy pad, bookshelf, redstone, redstone lamp. That stuff can stay there. Uh, give me one second. Gotta just check the upload. It looks like it's done. Alright, people. Episode 14 is ready to go. And this one will be right behind it at some point. Torch. There we go. Uh, we got an aluminum ore berry bush down here. Cool. Ooh, a loot pet. Bonus drops from mobs and mining. Eats gold nuggets. Well, if I get bonus drops from mobs and I'm killing, let's say, zombie pigmen that already dropped gold nuggets, this guy's paid for. Amazing. Give me that. Uh, let's get rid of... Well, we want to take this. We want to take those. Want the ender pearls and the diamonds. Okay, put the ore berries away. Put the skeleton head away. Put the stick away. And one more thing. What do we not want? Let's get rid of the spider fang. That's from Brewcraft. Wait, no, one more thing. Uh, the glass. I've picked up some of that already. This run. Okay, that's one more down. We've got two left. No, actually three, because um, I haven't looted the tower that I'm using for a mob spawner. I just went in and uh, moved all the spawners around and built the room on top of it, but I haven't actually looted the place fully yet.
So we will get to do that in just a little bit here. Uh, yeah, that's everything. We need to make some more torches. I might as well just carry a stack of coal. Like, that seems a good idea. I'll carry a stack of torches and sticks so I can make more torches when I need them. Okay, here's just an environmental accumulator. Sounds like there's uh, some ocean craft people nearby. Anglers or something. Oh yeah, this I used as a, a dump chest for sure. Uh, Ender lily seeds, gold horse armor, another steadfast drone, chance cube. 10 ingots, mega rubber sapling, miniature red heart I'll take now. Uh, the rest of the stuff I will leave. Yep, seems good. Alright. Uh, any more? I think that's the last spot right here. Chance Icosahedron, mundane lengthening catalyst, greater lengthening catalyst, average power catalyst, box of eternal closure, uh, which I've already got like five of those also, and the rest can stay. So wait, now that I've made a bunch of torches, am I done? Is that all the ones I hadn't looted yet? I don't see any more yellow markers that I left for myself. I guess that's it. So, whoops, wrong one. Wrong marker, that's one of my underground mine spots. Yeah, I did a lot of underground exploration. You see this trail of blue dots? These are all underground caves, ravines, and mine shafts that are connected to each other. Like, there's just a trail underground all through here. <laughs> I was down there for a good several hours just exploring everything. Okay, so... Um, here is the total... Oh, not that one. Those I brought with me already. Well, that one torch I didn't, but whatever. I'll let you guys take a, take a quick look at this. Here's the total stuff that I looted. Uh, most of the good stuff, anyway. There's still a lot of junk left out there. Page 1. And page 2. And actually, there's some junk here. Like, I brought this bow. I don't know why. Uh, all this armor I'm going to melt down. I'll get a bunch of steel and iron out of these. The horse armors will get melted down, so there's more iron and gold. Uh, let's take our loot pet with us. And he eats gold nuggets. So you know what? There's 16 gold ingots right there. Why don't we just take a few of those along so that he has something to eat while we're uh, using his services should I say. And that stuff I'll throw in there for later. Alright, so the only one I've got left to loot is the one I'm using as a mob grinder. And I did a little bit of work on this one. Let's go blaze mode so I can fly at least. Um, so it turns out that the mobs cannot spawn on top of conveyor belts anymore like they used to be able to. So uh, I took ri I took out several of those to leave them some spawning spots. I put slabs across 
every single block on this thing, so they have nowhere here to spawn. And also, I think the experience tank was providing enough light, because this thing glows. I think it was providing enough light to where things weren't spawning uh, further to this end of the, the room here. So I put a pipe and moved it back so it doesn't really shine light all the way down in there anymore. Otherwise, it's the exact same design. Oh, we got a glacial blade. Um, just a whole lot of nothing, really. Every now and then you'll get one of these More Swords 3 drops. And this blood chest stays full all the time. Let's go ahead and repair all of our armor. And we can put our blood extractor here. And I'm going to refill my rejuvenated flesh. Shift, right click, right click. There, it's full. If you right click normally, nothing happens. You shift, right click, it pulls the blood out into the uh, rejuvenated flesh. Alright, putting the armor back on. And, okay, that's empty. This is almost fully charged. I'll show you the chest full of stuff I've gotten out of here so far. It's a lot of junk, really. All these bows I'm going to just delete. Some leather armor, golden helmet, um, some more swords 3 drops, a couple of uh, flans mod drops. Uh, mostly just junk. <laughs> But occasionally, I get uh, like sets of chainmail, gold armor, iron armor, some iron swords. Uh, these enchanted equipment pieces, I can actually disenchant them and put the enchantments on books, which I'll be doing later, uh, probably in an episode. And all the string and zombie flesh and spider eyes and stuff I'm getting from here, I can use as fuel in furnaces or, you know, just whatever. So... This is our last loot spot, and I've actually cleared out several floors here. So down there is where I stopped, because I wanted it on camera. But now that I've done several of them, I know that uh, a lot of these kind of suck. So let's see, parsnip, peach, olive, artichoke, melon, pumpkin, and fishing rod. Next floor down. I've got a lot of blood in here to clean up. which I will do now, because I don't think I'm going to be using the bow. Uh, for anyone that is using Evil Craft and wants to clean the blood up, you hold your um, blood extractor, shift and right click on the spot, and it pulls it out into the blood extractor. See, that was 400. That was another 400. So uh, it looks like it's 400 every time. Yeah, pretty much. Alright, that one I just did. Uh, this tower I lit up, but I didn't loot. Because I needed it lit up to stop mob spawning. I also, all the mob spawners that were in here, have been moved to a super secret location. Oh, this is full already. Super secret location that you'll see in just a minute. Uh, these I left here. Oh, the dolly almost broke. That's what it was. I'm trying to uh, not go through another dolly quickly. What? Oh, he ate something. Uh, that sound was him actually eating, so... The loot pets eat and make that sound. Nothing in here hiding, waiting to kill me. Uh, greater power catalyst. Another chance cube, crystallized element, was some zinc, zucchini seeds, fossil record, lily pad, and another brewing stand. Don't really need any of that. And bottom floor already. Hey look, a bunch of mob spawners that I moved from somewhere else. Uh, Ender pearl, chance cubes, diamonds, bucket, what? Anvil pet. Slowly auto repairs damaged items in inventory. Wait. Is this actually what I've been looking for the whole time? Auto repairs damage items in inventory. 
Will that work on the dolly? And the tinker's armor that I can't repair? Hang on. Let me organize myself here. Eats iron nuggets. Really? That's it? Hang on. Hold the phone. Man, I should have looted this thing two days ago. Hold the phone. Is this guy going to repair? I got to test now. In inventory, does that count? That already auto repairs itself. Uh, I don't have anything else that has a repair value on it. Let's take the traveler's boots out. They're at 1029 out of 1035. I want to see if these get repaired. So let's just run around a little bit and see if he's going to repair them. Keep an eye on them. Uh, and we can put away the loot that we've picked up. Oh, that's that guy's food. Still 1029. How slowly is it, I wonder? Seems to be pretty slow. But it's faster than not repairing at all, right? It doesn't say I have to, like, click him or anything, right? No? 1029. Maybe it doesn't work on them. Alright. Chance cubes. Uh, I think it's time we open chance cubes, right? We just passed 30 minutes again. Let's take down this other white stone, because I'll probably get killed more than once. And the bloodstone I want to put away because if you die with your bloodstone on you, it uh, drains all the charge, so you have to start over. So I'm going to be relying solely on our white stones to keep me alive in case the uh, chance cubes want to kill me today. And we're going to be moving a fair distance away from the house here in our favorite little explosion spot where we used uh, to open the last ones. Still 1029, alright. Alright, chance cubes, ready to go. Sparta. Full iron set. Cool. That's some more stuff I'm gonna put away. I'm gonna count that as uh, added to our loot gain for the day. Next, three ender lily seeds. Was that it? Okay, I'll take it. It's better than a death, right? Next one, Glen. All right. Was that a Walking Dead reference? Oh, that one replaced itself and said no. Well, how about yes? Sparta! Okay, we get another set of iron armor. That's being fairly generous today. I was expecting to get blown up several times. Uh, I don't know if the loot pet is actually helping with that. If he is, then that's awesome. What? Oh, great. Silverfish blocks. All right. That's another reason not to do this next to the house. Get griefed by a bunch of silverfish. Whoa. 1029. What did he repair? Okay, the anvil pet went off. I'm not sure what he repaired though. Probably my armor? Does it only repair what I'm wearing? And now all those went down. What?
Something's not right here. Uh, he's hungry. Oh, I don't have any iron nuggets on me. Hang on, let me go grab some. I've got some right here. Eat up, buddy. Maybe that's why he wasn't doing anything. Whatever. Yeah, there's some silver nuggets. I think I just got those out of one of those silverfish. Anyway, moving right along. Uh, let's wear these instead so I get the set bonus just in case I need it. That was more ender lily seeds. Okay. That was a death. <laughs> Supposed to be. Wait for it. I'm going to die again. Wait, creeper pet. I know this one. There's a big long delay, and then there's an explosion. So let's put him there. Do we have gunpowder? Let's grab some gunpowder so he has food. Okay, this one says wait for it, and then after a pretty good amount of time, there's an explosion that kills you. Still 1029. I guess he repaired all of this, because that was down. Take a piece off. Yeah, okay, it's actually repaired. Those are 1029. All right. So now we're just waiting for the explosion. Any minute now. Come on. Uh, instead of carrying around the food for these guys, I can actually uh, carry around a blood chest and just put them in the blood chest to refill them whenever they get hungry. I guess that kind of makes them a little bit more evil because they run on blood. <laughs> but uh, whatever. They're vampiric inventory pets. All of them. I really want to see if this anvil guy is going to repair my tinker's armor. It says in inventory, but maybe it prioritizes what you're wearing first? I'm not sure. We'll find out. Actually, does the Tinker's Armor allow you to put moss on it? Or is that only weapon mods? There it is. I'm immune to explosions. I've got my creeper pet right here. Is this lag? I can right click and make him explode. Okay. Well, now there's a block of bedrock out here. Uh, let's just continue, but I'm gonna leave him on the bar just in case that thing goes off. <laughs> Release the horde. Okay, we got a pack of zombies. There we go. Easy enough. Next. Useless generator. So this useless generator has been renamed. It's actually a pink generator. Uh, it generates power whenever you put things in it that are pink. Such as pink wool. Or uh, pork chops. Like I think raw pork chops work. Um, pink dye. Anything like that. Pink carpets, I think, go in there. But uh, this one actually is a times 64 power multiplier. And you make that out of 8 of the times 8 uh, generators, which are made from 8 of the 1x generators and transfer nodes and all kinds of other stuff. And you have to use a QED. 
So this thing is actually a really good generator, but uh, it only runs on things that are colored pink. So it's not useless, but it is kind of uh, more roundabout to use unless you have a good source of stuff to put into it. Okay, that is a marlin. Or no, it's a clownfish named marlin. You should be going to find Nemo. That's a uh, Finding Nemo reference. And we got a half-broken fishing rod right behind that. Some kind of cruel joke. And now we got a 3x3 three three block of obsidian. Okay. Uh, loot pet going off. That's 20-something seconds of poison. No big deal. Let me uh, make sure my food stays full here. I could just go grab our cow inventory pet and throw that on the bar. Oh, we're, not, we're good. <laughs> Never mind, we're good. It went away. Let's heal back up so I don't use my last uh, white stone charge on, on nothing. Uh, we are almost at full moon, actually. So the two I have are going to recharge in a little bit. Is that a bat squeaking? Sounds like it, but I don't know where he is. And there's nothing showing up on the... Yeah, there he is. Got him. Uh, there's nothing showing up on the map. Alright, come on health, go back up. Everybody's waiting for you. Still got a lot of cubes to go through here. Wow, that puts light underneath there also. Cool. Ah, there's the explosion. Well, that was white stone number three. Hey, where's my block of diamond? And I'm immune to explosions, right? Should have been. Human flesh. So I did die? What? Still 1029. What did you fix? I guess just the rest of my armor. So he fixed everything but that. Huh. That's weird. Oh no, I bet that was from... No, I actually haven't died yet, have I? That's weird. It counts you as dying, but then you don't. Huh. Alright. Uh. Well, you know what? I guess that answers that question. I'm going to cut the video here. And we will save the rest of these chance cubes for the end of next episode. I've got a lot of them to do, too. Uh, I'm going to camp outside here, wait for the uh, full moon to recharge my white stones, and do some more testing with our anvil and loot pets and stuff. So, uh, yeah, until next time, uh, leave a like, leave comments. If you're enjoying the episode, let me know. If you're enjoying the series, I mean, let me know. Um, any suggestions and stuff, leave in the comments. And I will see you guys next time.